I think Peter and I both want to be clear uh, that we've known that relationships are important in college for a very, very, very long time. Uh, Alexander Astin's book, Four Critical Years, uh, where he talked about faculty student involvement being the most important uh, involvement variable in, in, in terms of student retention. We've known this for four decades. And, and, and uh, Vincent Tinto's idea that what really matters in terms of student retention is this intricate web of reciprocal relationships that students form in college. And more recent uh, important scholars uh, like Adriana Kazar have, have noted that these relationship effects are particularly significant for students of color and first generation students. What, we're, what I think this book does is, particularly to, to that last point, emphasize that we are at a time in American higher education where we see this wonderful rising tide of what Peter and I call in our book, new majority students, first in their families to come to school, students of color. And if we care about equitable outcomes, as we do at our institution, as you do at your institution, certainly as the Gardner Institute does, this is a wonderful time, I think, in the history of American higher education to recenter our thinking about the centrality of relationships in the undergraduate experience. Thank you.